Hello, today we are going to try to fix this absolutely beautiful thermoelectric cooler that is using Peltier module to cool or heat content of that box. It is absolutely beautiful model in my personal opinion because we've got a 15 liter of room which is like a in my personal opinion the best capacity so it's not too big and it's also not too small so you can fit like a full size bottles you've got a lot of room you've got those compartments and you can remove that if you need more room and as you can see it is pretty massive so great capacity in my opinion and it's got that cool retro look Yes, that handle is made out of plastic, but it looks cool. So let's take a look at this device. So it is pretty decent size. Here you can take a look at the specification. It is great model because it can be operated straight from AC without need of any power converter like a transformer or from DC inside car. In my case that's going to be my DC solar system. Here we've got selector that allow us to reverse polarity on the Peltier module and our heat pump is going to be working in reverse. What might be interesting where we are going to be using the hot mode we are going to get more than 100% efficiency and that's because all the power that go from the DC module will go into the Peltier module and it's going to be converted to heat but also we are going to get extra heat that is going to be transferred from the cold side so we are going to get more than 100% this is internal build of our cooler. We can see the AC power supply that is converting 230 volts into 12 volts DC. We've got a fan that is broken and most likely that element create fault and condition that lead to Peltier module being burned. Here we've got our switch with circuitry that allow to reverse a voltage polarity that go into our Peltier module. I believe that those two wires are being used for heating and there is some sort of thermal switch that is going to be cutting off in case of temp rising too high. This is my assumption. I was unable to take it apart and pull out but from how it's connected, it's carrying the load. So most likely that's what's going on. This is our Peltier module. And as you can see, it is removed from circuitry. And that's because I had to order replacement and those replacements just arrived. Here you can see them. The simple thing I can tell you, the last digit, 05, means that this device is going to be pulling 5 amp and you can get more powerful modules, but as you go with more current and more power, then you need to dissipate more heat on the hot side. So you cannot go indefinitely, you have to scale up your heatsink and cooling capacity for the hot side. So I go with one to one replacement and we are going to swap it right now. Here you can see your heatsink. It is extremely important to make it clean. And on the surrounding area, there was a foam padding that is creating insulation between hot heatsink and cold side. Sadly, I ordered them from the AliExpress, but they have not arrived yet. So I will do that off camera in next month. It was looking like this. It is a foam with a double side 
glue and you just stick it around you purchase it as a dedicated for size of the Peltier module so you are not cutting that by yourself you just buy it you stick it and you are good to go As you can see, we've got this nice and clean. I will rotate it so it's not going to be trying escape from me. The both sides of the Peltier module are exactly the same. If you apply voltage on the incorrect side, you are just going to be reversing hot with cold. How to check which side is hot and which is cool? You apply around 1 volt to the terminals and you are just going to touch it. One side is going to be hot, other side is going to be cool. You do not apply full voltage and that's because without heatsink it is quite easy to damage the internal PN junction. So go with wide 1 volt and it's going to be quite safe. Okay, so I'm attaching the 1 and other and that side is definitely cool that one is definitely hot and I'm using one volt so this side go toward our cooler internals in between it is extremely important to add thermal compound and I've got this paste this is exactly the same one that is being used on the CPU. So I will add it into the middle. We are going to nicely go like this. Absolutely beautiful. And now the second portion that will go toward our heatsink. We are going to be applying nice portion here absolutely beautiful that should be more than enough as it's going to be nicely spread out we have to figure out where the power supply goes so it's going to be like this so the longer end goes there and i will tell you the absolutely most important part of attaching the heatsink to the Peltier cooler and it's that you should not over tight one side because it's going to be cracked so I do a one squeeze here one squeeze here and I'm moving in parallel and do not over force it because it's just a ceramic plate we are going to be nicely soldering it so here goes the positive and we attach it like absolutely beautiful the negative goes here we go like this absolutely beautiful just take a look at this and now we've got problem with our broken fan I do not have the correct size so I will try to mount something just for test so we can try to turn it on. As you can see off camera I replaced this fan and I didn't have exactly the same size so I've got something different but I do confirm that we've got power and the fan is spinning and I order proper replacement that looks like this and it is from super silent series so the idea is it should be more quiet but i'm most likely going to be losing couple celsius degree i'm 
don't know the actual value because it's not going to be as efficient as the old one. This is a PC fan, so it's going to have a totally a different plug, but that should be absolutely no problem. Let's compare this. Yes, it is proper, absolutely beautiful size, one-to-one -one replacement. Here we've got where it's spinning and it should be blowing air in that direction. So we are going to be mounting it like this. And it's allowed to be controlled by PWM. So we've got a four wire. One of them is for a reading speed and second for PWM. And we are just going to be connecting red and black. And that's going to make it working full at last. Absolutely simple. Right now I'm taking a look at the current consumption and it's exactly the same. So it is not a direct compare, but maybe we are not going to be losing any performance. Maybe the, it's more quiet by a better bearing. So we are going to see. Here we are just going to cut it. We need only, if you're cutting wire like this, go and make different lengths so they will never touch each other. If you go like this, as you can see, we've got different length. They are not touching themselves. Absolutely beautiful. Will my tool work on such thin wire? Let's see, two at once. Can you confirm? Yes, it does. It does beautiful job. We need to add a little bit solder. Looks great. Here we had our wire and I'm pretty sure I will cut it because in future maybe I will be redoing it. And I will solder directly into that tiny plug. So here we've got negative. We go like this. And here positive. And it present absolutely beautiful. Let's find the proper direction for our airflow. We go that direction. So I believe we should go like this because it will be like that. The screwdriver through that hole. And we nicely screwing it down. looks great we can try it out let me attach the dc power cord we go into cooling mode the fan is spinning the air is blowing i'm not sure if it's more quiet to be honest it's quite loud And I can feel the air being blown. I put my probe and as you can see the temp is rising. I'm measuring the heat sink. So the Peltier is working just fine. As you can see. And let me touch the inside. So yes, it's clearly cooling. 
absolutely beautiful we are going down and of course the ambient temp i unplug the probe this is ambient temp so it is not a joke we are cooling before we are going to call it a day I will secure those wire by a zip tie so we go like this and we are nicely making sure they will not make any unwanted contact with the fan blade go like this and now it present absolutely beautiful and as you can see our cooler is fixed we are constantly uh, dropping temp i'm measuring and probing temp inside and we've got a good fix so i replaced the thermoelectric peltier element and that fan so thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye